Confusion and frustration are the rule across Maryland when it comes to vaccine distribution, especially in Montgomery County. For instance, according to the state of Maryland, if you're 65 or older, you're eligible to be vaccinated today. But faced with a dire shortage of vaccine, Montgomery County is only just now granting appointments to people 10 years older than that. Confused? Meanwhile, a state website directs you to try the likes of Giant or CVS to get a vaccine. But searches come up empty. No appointments or locations available. Frustrated? Another state website lets Montgomery residents get appointments in Prince George's County, where today authorities said no more. Two Montgomery County Council members blasted the state health department today. What people are understandably doing, they're registering for every link that they can find. The residents that received from our county the shots in Prince George's County, which was a state registration system that had been forwarded to them by someone else. Understandably, they're signing up, trying to get this vaccine wherever they can get it. Vaccine distribution shouldn't feel like the Hunger Games. Because simply we don't have enough vaccine to cover everybody who's eligible. That's the county's chief health officer, Dr. Travis Gales, who outlined the situation by the numbers. As of today, there are 164,000 residents in Montgomery County, age 65 and up, who qualify for the vaccine. But the county so far has received only 30,000 doses. Over the weekend, Gales painted a bleak picture for WUSA 9. Let's say we get to a 10,000 dose a week average. If we stayed in that current clip to get everybody covered, that's going to be over 100 weeks to shy of two years. And so something has to change. Leaders in both Montgomery and Prince George's County today say they are hopeful that the incoming Biden administration will offer a national vaccine distribution plan that will stop pitting states and counties within states against each other. The administration has not yet announced such a plan. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.